Hi guys! Welcome sa NG Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na to ay didiscuss ko ang part 2 ng subtraction of fractions. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. So meron na ako na unang video about subtraction of fractions. So kung hindi nyo pa yung napapanood ay pwede nyo muna yung panoorin para mas makasabay kayo sa more examples na isasolve natin sa video na to. So basically sa video na to ay magsasolve tayo ng mga examples ng subtraction of fractions that involves whole numbers as well as mixed numbers. So for example, 2 minus 2 thirds. So this example ay magsusubtract tayo ng whole numbers sa isang fraction. So paano natin ito gagawin? The first step ay manghihiram tayo ng isang buo doon sa whole number natin na 2 at i-convert natin siya sa fraction. At sa pag-convert ng whole number na hiniram natin sa 2 as a fraction, ay gagawin natin siyang similar doon sa given fraction natin na 2 thirds. So magkakaroon tayo ng denominator na 3 at numerator na 3 kasi equivalently 3 over 3 is just the same as 1 whole. So therefore, we can rewrite 2 as a mixed fraction also that is 1 and 3 over 3. So basically, equal lang sila kasi 1 plus 3 over 3 or 1 is 2. Then, let's subtract sa 2 thirds. So, let's subtract the whole number first. Since wala naman tayong isusubtract sa whole number na 1, so Sulit lang natin yung 1. And then, subtract na natin yung fractions which are similar. So, gaya ng steps natin sa subtraction of similar fractions, subtract lang natin yung numerator na 3 minus 2 over the same denominator na 3. So, we have 1 and 1 third. So, another example. Let's try 1 minus 5 over 6. So again, since kapareho lang ito ng example number 1 natin, manghihiram tayo ng isang buo doon sa given whole number natin. So, so basically, 1 lang naman yung whole number natin, so siya na agad yung i-convert natin as a fraction. So, we will transform the whole number 1 as similar fraction to the given fraction. So we have... 6 over 6 minus 5 over 6. So, 6 over 6 is just 1, right? So, since similar fractions na yung dalawa, ay pwede na nating isubtract directly. So, we have 6 minus 5 over 6, which is equal to 1, 6. Okay, for the next example, we have... 5 and 4 fifths minus 4 and 3 fifths. So this time, parho na tayong may mixed number sa dalawang fractions. So the first step is to subtract the fractions. So since similar naman yung two fractions, ay madali lang natin siyang masasubtract. So we just have 4 minus 3 over 5. And then for the whole number, isusubtract lang din natin sila. So we have 5 minus 4 which is 1. Therefore, our final answer is 1 and 1 fifth. Another example will be 3 and 4 sevenths minus 1 and 1 7. So again, subtract muna natin yung fractions which are just similar fractions. So we have 4 minus 1 over 7. And then the whole number we have 3 minus 1 is 2. So we have 2 and 3 over 7. For the next example, we have 8 and 1 over 9 minus 7 and 6 over 9. 
So again, subtract muna natin yung fractions. So we have 1, 9, minus 6 over 9. So mapapansin nyo, pag sinubtract natin yung 1, 9, minus 6, 9, ay magkakaroon tayo ng negative answer since 1 minus 6 is negative 5. So, hindi natin pwedeng isubtract directly yung mga fractions nila since magiging negative yung answer. So, ang gagawin natin, manghihiram tayo ng isang buo doon sa 8. So, at i-add natin niyon sa 1 ninth. So, pag nanghiram tayo ng isang buo sa 8, ay i-convert natin yon sa fraction such that it has the same denominator as the given fraction. So, since sa 1, 9, 9 yung denominator niya, yung hiramin natin isang buo ay convert natin as 9 over 9. So, we have 7. Since nahiram tayo ng isang buo, nababasan yung 8 ng isa, at ilalagay natin yung isang buo doon sa fraction na 1, 9. So, magiging, sabi ko nga, gagawa natin yung hiram natin isang buo as 9 over 9, i-add natin yun sa 1, 9, so magiging 10 over 9. Right? And then, pwede na nating isubtract doon sa pangalawang fraction na 7 and 6 ninths. So, we have now, for the fraction, 10 minus 6 over 9. And for the whole number, is 7 minus 7 is 0. So, hindi na natin isusulat. Therefore, the final answer is 10 minus 6 is 4 over 9. Okay, another example. We have 6 and 3 over 11 minus 4 and 7 over 11. So, just like nung nauna example, pag sinubtract natin yung fractions na 3 over 11 sa 7 over 11, negative ang sagot. Kasi 3 minus 7 is negative 4. So, manghihiram uli tayo ng whole number doon sa 6. At i-convert natin into fractions with denominator of 11. Para similar siya doon sa given fraction na 3 over 11. And then, i-add natin. So, magiging 5 and 11 plus 3 is 14 over 11. Then, subtract na natin sa 4 and 7 over 11. So, subtract natin ngayon yung fractions we have 14 minus 7 over 11. And then, yung whole number 5 minus 4 is 1. Therefore, our final answer is 1 and 7 over 11. So, let's try another example. So, let's try to solve... 5 and 2 over 3 minus 2 and 1 fourth. So, this time, the similar fractions na yung example natin. Kasi magkaiba na sila ng denominator. So, pag ganun, gaya ng ginagawa natin sa mga nauna nating mga example or sa mga, nating, sa mga nauna nating video sa addition or subtraction, convert muna natin sila sa similar fractions. So, hanapin natin yung LCD nila. So, we have 12, right? Therefore, we have for, two for 5 and 2 thirds, we have 12 divided by 3 is 4, time is 2 is 8. Then, let's just copy the whole number 5. For 2 and 1 fourth, we have 12 divided by 4 is 3, time is 1 is 3. And then, let's just copy the whole number 2. And then, pwede na natin isubtract yung fractions. So, since hindi naman magdi negative yung answer natin kapag sinubtract natin, uh, pwede na natin isubtract directly. So, we have 8 minus 3 over 12. And for the whole number, we have 5 minus 2 is 3. So, therefore, our final answer is 3 and 5 over 12. So, for the next example, we have 4, 2 over 5, minus 1, 
and 1 ten. So again, dissimilar fraction sila. So, i-convert muna natin yung fraction sa similar. So, ang LCM ng 5 at 10 ay 10. So, we have for, for 4 and 2 fifths, 10 divided by 5 is 2 times 2 is 4. And then, let's just write the whole number 4. So, for 1 and 1 tenth, we have 10 divided by 10 is 1 times 1 is 1. And copy na lang natin yung whole number na 1. Therefore, we can now subtract the fractions. So, we have 4 minus 1 over 10. And for the whole number, we have 4 minus 1 is 3. So, therefore, the final answer is 3 and 3 over 10. For the next example, we have 8 and 1 8 minus 6 and 5 6. So again, convert natin sa similar fractions. The LCD of 8 and 6 is 24, right? Then for 8 and 1 8, we have 24 divided by 8 is... 3 times 1 is 3. So we have 8 and 3 over 24. For 6 and 5 over 6, we have 24 divided by 6 is 4 times 5 is 20. So we have 6 and 20 over 24. So this time, pansin nyo na kapag sinubtract natin yung fractions ay magiging negative yung sagot. Since 3 minus 20 is negative 17. So, manghihiram ulit tayo ng whole number doon sa 8. So, magiging 7 and since 24 yung denominator, i-convert natin yung hiniram nating whole number as 24 over 24. At i-add natin sa fraction na 3 over 24. So, therefore, we have 24 plus 3 is 27 over 24. Minus 6 and 20 over 24. So, pwede na natin isubtract yung fractions. We have 27 minus 20 over 24. And for the whole number, we have 7 minus 6 is 1. Therefore, the final answer is 1 and 7 over 24. Okay, let's have the last example for this video. We have... 7 and 4 over 21 minus 3 and 6 over 7. So again, dissimilar fraction soli sila. So hanapin natin yung LCD. So the LCD obviously is 21. So we have 21 as the denominator. Then for 7 and 4 over 21, we have 21 divided by 21 is 1 times 4 is 4. So the same lang. And we will just write the whole number of 7. For 3 and 6 over 7, we have 21 divided by 7 is 3 times 6 is 18. Then we will write the whole number 3. So therefore, similar fractions na sila. At kung mapapansin nyo, di uli natin pwedeng i-subtract yung fractions kasi magiging negative yung sagot. 4 minus 18 is negative 14. So therefore, manghihiram uli tayo ng whole number doon sa 7. So we have 6 and so 21 yung denominator. So i-convert natin yung whole number as 21 over 21 plus yung 4 over 21. So we have... 21 plus 4 is 25 over 21. Minus 3 and 18 over 21. So, pwede na natin i-subtract. So, so, sa fraction, we have 25 minus 18 over 21. For the whole number, we have 6 minus 3 is 3. So, therefore, our final answer is 3 and 7 over 
21. And since may GCF pa yung fraction na 7 over 21, which is 7, pwede pa nating i-divide both numerator and denominator sa 7. So the final answer is 3 and 1 over 3. So, that is how to subtract fractions that involve whole number and mixed number. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.